Hello friends, welcome back to Civil 3D Pro Tricks and Tricks. In this video, I will show you where, how to do the profile view presentation. Well, every company use their own presentation style, so it's good to know how to, you can change it and how you can modify as per your company styles or whatever the project you get and how you make it more uh, presentable, uh, your profile view styles and uh, you can always change and you can try the different options so let's see how we can do that well the profile view presentation if you need to change first thing what you need to do is to go to profile view go to profile view properties and select your object style well now seal so 3 give you some predefined object style what you need to do if you want to make your own style you just use any style and uh, click on this button over here and you can either edit that style or you can copy or you can create your own style from the scratch what i do i use this style and i edit something so i copy this style and i give it to name my name uh civil 3d pro and i can apply and save it so one thing is that whatever you change now in this style, it will be stay in this style, and you can copy this style to any of your uh, another projects or any of your uh, another file. So it is useful once you do the setting, it will stay with you. So now I go my copy style. Now I edit this styles, the style I created. First thing what I do, I'll see that how my profile look with. Uh, uh, grids so right now it's I have only vertical grids now I can see how it looks with them uh, horizontal grids and the various option of grids so I'll go to again on edit and I go to the display and I go and find yeah here's grid horizontal major and horizontal minor and vertical major and vertical minor I click off horizontal geometry point if you want you can let it I click off profile H and I hit apply ok and apply so now you can see this showing the grids now you can see here that grid is showing only below the proposed profile view so that is one option that you can show your grid below only proposed profile view or if you want to show your grids on the entire profile view what you need to do again go to the edit and go to the grids and turn off this clip vertical grid options and you can apply ok and apply and you can see now your grid is <coughs> to the entire profile view now let's change some more uh, do more some more changes in the grids so what you need to do, you can do more, you can change your, how your grid looks. Right now my grid looks very dark. So what I can do, I can always change my layers. So there is two ways to change the layers. Either you can go in the layer and change the properties, or you can do in the display settings. So right now I do in the, my display settings. So what I do, I change the line type. So I select all four this together, click here and see what style I have here. I can select OK dot two and I can change my color to bit of light on mine. And now let's see how it looks. See, now this is more look like presentable wig. So your grid are showing, grid is a bit light and your geometry is perfectly visible. So this is where you can enhance your profile view presentation. Now let's put some boundary over uh, this. So I'll go here, profile view properties. Again, I go to the edit. Remember everything I'm doing in our, my own style. So you can do as much edit you want and you can save that style. So now I can put some boundaries. So I'll put left axis, left axis, right axis, and the top axis. And what more I do, I'll give some offset. So it look 
clear that I have given some boundaries. So I'll give 5 5 offset to all my boundaries. And let's see how it looks now. So you can see now. You have all your boundary and there's 5 meter offset from the last chain edges. 5 meter offset from the right chain edges. Now it's not overlapping with your text. It is a bit away. And you can see all your gaps here perfectly. And all your grids and more. So this is where it looks more better. You can do any of your style, any of your color, or any of your uh, line type or anything. So again, go to profile view properties. Now I give some labels to my profile view. Suppose I need to show uh, my hexagon, uh, vertical, and horizontal uh, labels. So how I do? I go again in edits. So here you have a title annotation. Right now you can see that my Title annotation is position on left side and on bottom side with 10 10 meter offset. And here my title is showing vertical hexagon running graph. So let's see where it is showing. Uh, you can turn the title on from here, graph title. You can turn it on and you can apply and you can see. So vertical hexagon 1.5. So it's on left side and it's on 10 meter offset from here. So here how you can do your setting. Now suppose if I need to show this vertical hexagon on top of my hair. So what I'll do, I click again, go to profile properties, go to edit again, and change my title display to top. And I'll keep the 10, 10 meter offsets. Okay, let's hit apply, apply, okay. And now you can see this title is up here. So you can do uh, setting as you want. You can give the offsets as you prefer. So uh, what I'll do, uh, I give it to center and I give my X offset zero. What I'll see, click here, click here and apply. So it's come on my center of the profile view. Now, if I want to add something else, rather than one exaggeration. So what I'll do, I select this and I go to the edit and here you can change, uh, add anything. You can add graph your name, your alignment name, your drawing scale, your vertical scale, vertical hexagon, and your start chain is, end chain is, minimum or maximum. You can add any property from this option. So what I'll do, I just delete this and what I do, I add graph view vertical scale. So I click here and I add V. It's my vertical scale. Sorry, it's a bit not visible. Uh, so yeah, I'll, one minute I'll change the color so it's a bit more visible. Okay, so I add vertical and now I add horizontal drawing skill and I write horizontal and OK and apply apply so you can see my horizontal is 500 as you can see here and my vertical is 100 as is this one is to five hexagration. So this way you can uh, put your scales and put your alignment name. So now let's see more changes. Right now I have my alignment name here. I'll show you how it comes here. I'll go to here, profile view properties again, go to edit. Now here you have more options. You can give your axis title. So you can see in my bottom, I have given the changes on right it is showing elevation, on left it is showing datum and at top again the changes. Well you can turn on this display. Right now I didn't turn on any display. Right axis title not 
tail axis node and the board axis node. So I don't show any tail node. So you can add any of your things you want. You can add it from here in this menu. So and there are some more uh, things here. You can change your textile here. Silk so Sandra Sex or IS or Roman any textile you want. You can change your height and enter. So here my profile view minimum elevation datum you can put over here. And this is how you can show various things and apply apply and okay so it's a file size and my datum is 25 comes here now let's see some more uh, settings so if you can go in edit you can do various textile changes and height and everything from here and you select your location text side and y and x offset everything here now let's see some more thing suppose i need to give uh, my major change is 100 meter and my minor change is 40 meter so how can i do that so i go to horizontal axis tab i give my major 100 and my minor 40 okay and uh, you can apply okay apply and okay so you can see the my measure comes at 100 40 meter 80 meter 100 meter this change is here is showing is my vertical and horizontal uh, chain point so you can see here my vertical chain point so you can show exactly your vertical chain point level here so this is where you can change your changes like 40 meter you want to show or 50 meter so on or 100 meter you can change this from here so next thing i go and check again here also there are other setting like a tick size you can cha uh, change your tick size uh, uh, 3 or 5 also you can change your height 2.5 or 3.5 the same things here same thing with the horizontal geometry you can choose any of your text style can give y offset x offset rotate to 90 or y axis so you can do play with all those things and make your own settings and make your own styles the same thing you can do with the vertical axis you can play with this change text styles text uh, rotation x offset, offset y offset whatever you want, want to write anything you can do over here and everything control from here display so if you do any changes you can have to turn on these things here so here if you change any horizontal vertical text annotation then you need to come display and you need to tick on uh, so whatever the changes you done you need to show here you need to turn on this it comes from here you can change the properties or you can go to the layer and change this properties so this is how you can do your profile view presentation changes i hope this will be useful and uh, yes i mean you can make your own style once you save your style you can always copy into another file you can directly copy this and you can paste into another file profile view and the style will be copy or what you need to do you need to go to the manage and you need to reference this file so it will be copy or you can import uh, go into import and check this file so you can copy your style into the another files so thank you thank you for watching this hope this is helpful